guys, so I know I'm behind schedule again on my theme days. I didn't get a Music Monday video up either. I am really trying my darndest to nail down the song that I want to do. So as soon as I do, regardless of day of the week, I'll just throw that up whenever. But since I also missed Tuesday and it was another day for another swatch video, I figure screw it, I'm gonna just do it today. And yeah, so, and since some of you guys commented saying how satisfying it was watching me do the hole punch thing last time that I had to do one of these, I'll just do that on camera again because we filled up the last page pretty effectively, I should say. So, let us do that real quick. Let's get it done and over with. One, two, three. Oh, what, 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 wait, 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 wait. There, everything lined up. Boom. And done. Got our holes punched. Actually, that bottom one doesn't look all the way through, but it's gonna have to be good enough for this. I'm not that picky. Actually, that is a lie. I am totally that picky, but not worrying about it the second. We got our holes punched. Get that out of my way. And... Yeah, we will just stick this in the binder. Next page. And we will be good to go. Careful doing that, because you do not want to get your fingers in it. Actually, actually. Now it'll line up. I did it upside down, because I'm too stupid. It still doesn't line up, but you know what? I am... Honestly, past the point of caring. I have finally more or less chilled out from earlier. Let's not re-spark that. So, today what I'm swatching is the Crayola 24 pack. And yes, there will be a lot of repeats from the first pack. That's okay. Personally, in my opinion, just for my own personal use, I think if you're on the go and you're not at home and you don't have the convenience of really being able to carry around one of the bigger boxes, I think this is the ideal smaller pack to carry with you. Because the range of colors here, at least for me, these seem to be my most used colors anyway. If you're more into pastels, I would recommend the 36 pack, but if you're like me and you just like the really brights, the 24 will do you really well if you're on the go and just want a smaller box instead of carrying around the 50 pack or the 100 pack. Th this is a pretty good mobile one. So, we will get our paper, well, page labeled. Crayola. My dog is going cray cray downstairs. 24 pack. Boom, boom. Alright, so let's get these babies out of the box. This is another one of those box sizes where I've always got multiples of this size around just because I go through these particular colors so quickly. So, I know, I seem to be a colored pencil hoarder, and I might be a little bit, but they do get used, as you guys have seen, so. Ah, oh, the beauteousness of all of them. They are so pretty. Ooh, okay, so, let's see. Do I want to do these in a special order? Let's do my usual rainbow order. Try to get the reds first. We've also got a pink, so the pink could come first. Hmm. How would I like to mitigate? Okay, and then we've got orange. We've also got other oranges. Actually, that's golden yellow. Hmm. That's yellow orange. We could kind of do like. Hmm, I guess yellow would be next. Yeah, we could do like a spectrum type of a thing for this one. Uh, then we've got greens, so I could do the sleep on green first in there. And then the next dark green. That would be pretty. I'm not even sure if I'm on camera right now. Oh, well, I'm not. Well, that's stupid on me. Okay, now you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I swear I'm retarded. Okay. Hmm. Put it there. Where do I want it? No, I want the more muddy one to be after. And then we'll go to blues. Let's see. There's violet. There's. How on earth? 
I don't know. They claim this is light blue. I call bullshit, but whatevs. Then we've got our regular blue. And there we get our purples. We only have two in this pack. We have a magenta purple and then a violet purple. And now we get into the tricky area of peach and then the browns and deciding what order to put them in. Hmm. I think I'll do tan first. Then light brown, brown, mahogany, gray, whoopsie, black, and maybe white should go first. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good in that order. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty good. So I think that's the order I'm going to do them in. So we'll start out with the white, get it out of the way first, just done over with. We all know we can't see it anyway, so. But yeah, so it's just white. White. I legit almost misspelled that as the way that the Isle of White is spelled and was like, wait, wrong white. Okay, so now we shall do pink next. That is a very lovely pink, don't you think? And I hope this piano bench doesn't break. <laughs> this was not the most well thought out plan. Okay, now. Red, orange, red. Okay, I do have them in the right order. So red, orange is next. Now regular red. For some reason, in this lighting, it just looks like a really rich magenta, but whatever. It's red. Kind of looks like the ruby red in the 100 pack. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Let's try and get this to refocus now. Now that it got jostled. Okay. Okay, I think it's focused. Alrighty. This one is orange even though the barrel on this also very red looking. Not sure when exactly they changed this up because they did not used to look that close even though the lead is very much orange. But yeah so that's just orange. And this one's yellow orange. Pretty similar, but different. And then we have gold and yellow. I don't think this was in the last packs, so I think this one's new to you guys. I love this shady yellow, it's really nice. And then we have the regular yellow. You can see next to each other they're pretty close, but that one does have a touch of orange to it. But it is good at a quick glance to be able to know which one you're getting. Okay, so this is 
aqua green. I swear this used to be called the seafoam green and they changed it, but now it's aqua green. Which I guess is cool too. And then we have yellow green. We'll start the next line. Put that one. That's a very nice grassy green in my opinion. How many do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. That's pretty good actually. That's more than I usually get, I think. Okay, so yellow. Green. And then we just have regular green. Yeah. There we go. Nice and rich. Mm, let's make that more of an R. That's almost looking like an M. Green. Although, I'll obviously know that it just means green. Okay, and then we have... Jade green, which jade stones are my favorite. Just throwing that out there. It is so pretty. I have a necklace this exact shade in a jade stone. Now on to the blues. We've got a sky blue. Boop. It's a pretty crappy looking handwriting, but it'll work. Then we have our light blue that does not look very light on the barrel. <laughs> yeah, even in the lead, it's it's not that light. I would not consider this a light blue unless comparing it with the regular blue. And even though it's kind of just like a faded denim in my opinion, but whatever. I did not name these. And then we have regular blue, and you can see next to it that they are different. Yeah, this one's much nicer. This is more of a cerulean tone, which in the bigger box there's also cerulean, but this is very nice for just a regular, straight-up blue. And then we have magenta. Which, again, barrel color does not quite match what I would call the color color, but whatever. Actually, even here, I would call this more of a fuchsia than magenta, but that's just me. And this is why I do these swatches, because I go looking for a very specific shade. And I sometimes mix up the names of what I want and am thinking of with what the actual shades are. So I like being able to look at a quick glance and actually get the real colors. Here's our violet purple, which barrel looks like the blue. It's like almost identical side by side with it. So this one's a very important one to have scribbled out. Violet, purple, just like they have it on there, because they have it in parentheses as well. And we have peach, stick this over here, 
Do, 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 do. My go to skin tone. And then we've got tan. It's pretty dark tan if you ask me, but whatever. Light brown. We're almost done. We have a regular brown. Then we have mahogany, which is all the other brown. They put it with the reds on the box, but I count it as just a reddish brown because that's what it is, honestly. See? Brown. I'll make that scribble go further across. I mean, the words go all the way over there. I may as well make this a really long swatch. Now we have gray, which will make up for how long the other one is. We only have this one a lot more to go, so I mean, may as well. And then, finally, last but not least, black. have completed another swatch. I would say swatch page, but we have not filled up the page. So I'll, I'll bring this up closer so you guys can see the colors better. Quite lovely. So that is it for this one. So as usual, if you like this video, click the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. Uh, leave comments down below. Until next time.